Hello, I'm Zarnas, and let's play Transport Fever 2. Welcome back to Roan. So this will be a, we're, I'm going to call it a new series. It's Roan Mid-Century, and this will be episode one. But it really is a continuation of my previous Roan series. But we're going to focus now on a little bit more, uh, but, I mean, we have a lot of money coming in. In fact, we can unpause here and then go from there but you can see we've got a ton of money now and i just want to work on continuing this map and building this up i think the big focus of roan mid-century is probably going to be on highways and cargo uh, we have the passenger lines all running and running smoothly and well and i think we'll probably revisit them a little bit as we uh, need to upgrade to new vehicles and stuff like that but we're going to see more airports develop and highways and cargo as a focus on the rail speaking of which first thing i want to focus on is this machine factory which we have a ton of steel being shipped here but we don't have much lumber so i want to get lumber more and we're bringing the lumber right over from the sawmill here which then it is sitting here and we have way too much sitting there so actually, first thing we're going to do is get more trucks on this line. I thought we've got 10 on here already. Just going right through. In fact, let's, let's double that. There we go. Now we have 10 more coming out here, which are going to come around and start bringing more lumber over. But I also want to get this uh, actually, we've got quite a few here. This one is pretty full. 224. This guy must be pretty busy, yeah. Full load on that. That's a full load. They're, these guys are working as hard as they can. Their production is way up. Transporting as much as possible over here. Then this guy is doing well, but we can only get so much out of here. I mean, look at how much lumber we have there. Just sitting around. It's a little bit tempting to reconfigure this. But they really don't have to go very far. And the line itself. Let's see. The line is making 169. So it's not a huge, hugely popular thing. But let's go ahead and get a, a local train coming from here to here. There we go. Okay, so that should start bringing even more logs over. A very simple line. Uh, we're going to need to get a traffic light here. Or a, a signal. That's the word I want. And I think we're using this one. Uh, we don't want one way. We want two way. There we go. So it can stop if there's a train in the way there. There we go. Okay, so that should get more logs going there. Let's see if there's any other logs that are really close by. There's one out here. We could probably get that down there. Yeah, let's focus on that. We're going to bring this through this valley here and over. Thank you. 
So that gets that in place, and then we should be able to go ahead and get a line started there. That will bring... Uh, we should make that a really long train. How many... So let's check to see how big these trains are. And whether or not they... Well, like how much they fill the station. Are any of them in the station? Here we go. Yeah, so that holds 90 sips. Just waiting for that to fully ship, which is going slow. Which may mean that we are getting as much as we can here. But no, we could we could ship out more from here. We have the capacity that can come over here. Are they not ordering more wood? I mean, they should be ordering more wood. Yeah, they should be able to order more. In which case, these guys should be loading up and shipping even faster. Okay, so we can go ahead and get this line going. And we're going to speed up the game as well. Um, and then we're going to buy a new train for that. Let's maybe add a second engine to it. It's because we're going so far. I wish I could do this faster. Um, and I want to make sure that we can have the power we need. Do one fewer. There we go. And that is going on Montpelier Forest. All right, so he's going to go out and make his way over that way. Let's get him some signal, so we don't need one for the road here. Although the tunnel looks a little funny. Yeah, that's all funny. Uh, let's pause for a moment and take this road out so that our tunnel renders properly. And then we'll bring the road over this way. Now we have a, a properly rendering tunnel, which makes me happy. Okay, so then we're gonna cross a road there, another road there, here's a railroad. So we wanna come in here and we're going to get signals here. I think that's the only one we crossed, yep. Very good. Take out this road. Now let's check on this airport. On Pelier to Bull Lane. That one might be able to get more uh, here. How are you doing? Only making 40,000. Can we change these vehicles? So right now they are the DC-3, which is the best one we have available, 1937. So we're gonna just leave it at that. They're not making a ton of money but they are getting the idea of railroads where uh, airplanes going okay so that makes this better uh road vehicle is very poor that's fine this should be producing even more we're transporting 97 percent so we're getting as much as we can over to here in which case we are making as many machine parts as we can these guys are just waiting for more. As we're going to two different places, Lunel and La Grande Mott. So we're coming here and over there. That's good. Can get them both growing even more. And in the meantime, let's see. We have that lumber hooked up. Here's another one that could be hooked up. Marla's Forest 2. Yeah, let's do that. And this is a cargo line, so we can just have the cargo join on that. And then go over that way. Which means we're going to have to make this a 2... Two-way or a two-vehicle track. But that should be fine. We can get this over 
a pretty long space so we can fit a train in between there. And then we can get a passing lane, say here. And now we have another vehicle available. Deutschen Reitspawn. And BRE94, take a look at those in a minute. There we go. So that should work for that. And we can go ahead and get this track set up or this line set up from here to here. This guy is coming in for the first time and making money. Very good. Okay, so we have another one there come in here and let's take a look at those new engines too. So we have this one, the BRE94. An electric train for freight service. That is interesting. We don't have any, any availability for freight service, but then the other one that is new, is that electric too? No, I don't see it. But this is interesting. Electric express train car widely used in Switzerland. Yeah, that is very interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. But where is the other one that was new? I don't see it. Well, oh well. I mean, it clearly was... A locomotive. All right, well, we're gonna do two bores. And take this up to 88 capacity. And that is going to go in Arliss Forest 2. So that will get, he's waiting for the signal. This is a very busy area in here but our freight service is doing very well. Now, let's come in here and I want to check these. I want to see... Wow, the Rhone River Line is making 21 million per year. What are we running right now? The A35. So that is this one here. It goes 62 miles per hour. If we were to upgrade that, we could get it on the, on here. Could upgrade them to the class four, A4. Express uh, steam locomotive goes 90 miles per hour. I think we do that instead of upgrading the whole thing to uh, electric. How many do we have? We have 10 on the line. So if we were to come in here, and oh, also, let's check here. We're not covering all of the cargo, but we're also increasing. Yeah, I mean, we've got money, let's do it. I'd like to see those trains. I'm gonna replace these with uh, the A4. So that can go 90. Okay, so we're going to be limited to 75 miles per hour, which might be what we're at already. What does the A35 do? 62. So we're not gaining as much speed as I would hope. So we'll wait. Because I, I don't want to spend all that money for just that little increase. But let's check on trams, I think. Yeah. Because I think, oh, maybe that was what the other new thing was, was a tram. See, I wasn't paying extra close attention. That's a road depot. It's a tram depot. Okay. DL3000 wit. 
No, I don't see it here. I mean, these, none of them are super fast. So no matter what we have, I'm not really sure it's going to be all that much better. But like this one here, let's check. There, yeah, they're running the T1. Which is 37. They're running the best one available. What about vehicles here? No, none of those are any better. Okay, so we will just stick with what we've got there. And looking at logs somewhere. So we have another train working on bringing lumber over here. We might be maxing out on lumber. Because these guys... No, they, I mean, they can produce more. Just got to get more lumber over there. And this is getting ready to upgrade. You can see that there's starting to be pressure, so that is good. And that is staying lower. Very good. Let's keep... Are we taking lumber somewhere here, too? Lunel Lumber, where are you going? You go to Luno North. Oh, up there. Very good. Getting a lot of goods up here. Could get more lumber up that way. So that's you, Luno Lumber. We have one train on that. Yeah, let's come back here. Let's double the trains. Uh, do we have the track available for that? Yeah. It's double tracked all the way down here. So this is where that becomes a problem. We only have one track coming over this way. And I don't know that we can get a second track here for them to wait. Let's see if we can manage that. That should get that operating fine with more than one train now. So we can get extra lumber going out that way. That should help this one upgrade even more. So that's going to upgrade and see additional growth. So we've really focused on this sawmill and uh, that's going to be the topic of today. And that is it for today. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.